From After Dark World Headquarters, this is your fave, all right? Correspondent KD for KD After Dark, because I am KD After Dark. It is Saturday, February 19th. So let's get started, shall we? Get up, get your ass up. I got things to talk about, then I got to get the hell out of here. Let's start with a movie, or I should say a series. HBO's Rome. How good is it? Really good. It begins with Caesar conquering Gaul, present day France, defeating all the Germanic tribes and all the other maniacs that were running around Gaul. Pompey is in Rome. Pompey and Caesar are sharing power. And for reasons known and unknown, they become mistrustful of one another. So Caesar returns to Rome, crosses the Rubicon, which means that you cannot go back because any standing armies have to disband at the Rubicon River because that would be a threat to Rome. Then you have Caesar becoming dictator for 10 years. Caesar gets killed. The triumphant appears. Uh, Augustus Caesar. Uh, no, it's not, no, it wasn't Crassus. It was Mark Antony, Augustus, and I forgot the other guy, but he was running northern Africa. And then you get to meet that got it going on Cleopatra. So this series has something for everybody. There you go. It's got a great historical story. It's got great acting. You like violence, got plenty of that. You got those got it going on ladies, they got that. You like nudity, well, they got that. And the series ends with Augustus, the young Augustus becoming emperor of Rome. I can highly recommend it. It is really good. I've watched it all the way through twice. Oh, I have a new find today. Do you remember the Schlitz malt liquor tall boy that was fancied by Jackie B? Here's the old can. Well, guess what I found today? The Schlitz malt liquor bull new tall boy. Look at that bull right there. So this is the 2022 version. This is probably the 1977-78 version. This will stay sealed until a, an appropriate time to give a toast to Jackie B. Of course, I have to set it out and let it get hot. These are hard to find. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe because they blow? Well, anyway. Schlitz malt liquor. All right, so I'm going to tell a story from living in Charlotte when I was a security guard at that trucking company. There was a young idiot that I worked with named, let's call him Jerome. Now, Jerome was about 5 feet 8, about 140 pounds. Couldn't speak in complete sentences. Was wide open all the time. You couldn't have a conversation at him. You just had to kind of talk at him. Well, he turned 21 while I was working there. And so one of my co-workers said, well, we got to take him to the tent bar for his 21st birthday. Now, you know, if you go to the Paper Doll Lounge in Charlotte, Ace, the head bouncer, will even bring the cake. Well, that didn't happen, but we did take him to a tent bar. And the only thing he ever talked about was drinking that Miller beer. Miller beer. Or as Jackie B say, that lightweight shit. Well, anyway, Jones always talked about Mitz Miller, man. It's Miller. Drink Miller beer. We take him there. He orders a beer. He drinks about half of it, and he becomes literally shit-faced comatose. So, of course, these strippers are used to shit like this, so they bring him up on the stage, and he's got his arms draped around one stripper. He doesn't know where he's at, and they just unbuckle his pants. His pants fall down to the floor, and he's sit standing there like this dancing, sort of, with a stripper as 
We're laughing our ass off. It was real funny, but he was so drunk we had to get him the hell out of there. Well, we couldn't take him home because he lived with Mama. So had who had to work the third shift that night? Me. Who had to babysit him all night in the guard? Shaq. Well, he was just passed out till about five in the morning. He wakes up, drool and slobber all over his face and puke on his shirt. He looks up and says, man, I'm ready to do it all again. Jerome was interesting. So that's my story. These are my Schlitz malt liquors. Say it with me, shall we? Be nice until it's time not to be nice. Be kind to animals. Discipline equals freedom. Did you, did you match it with me? Never complain and never explain. Be quick, don't be in a hurry. You don't have unlimited time. Don't you know that? And one day you'll just be a memory to people. Why don't you try to make it a good memory? Let's get things accomplished today. I got to get my ass out of here. I suggest that you get things done, consequential things. Remember, I'll see you out there.